Hi guys, it's Tom Kitchen here in my restaurant, The Kitchen in Edinburgh, which is sadly closed just now. Now, our friends at the Edinburgh Uni have asked me if I'd be willing to receive some of these boxes that the incredible students who are self-isolating receive, and if I could look at the ingredients inside and maybe, you know, pop a few ideas. So, I've no idea what's in these boxes, but I'm up for a challenge, so... Here we go. I'm going to take everything out and we're going to see what we come up with. Everything here has to be um, from an ambient temperature, I'm understanding. So it's everything that you can keep in the store cupboard. Um, we've got some baked beans, which is apparently one of your five a day. Um, now, baked beans. Mm. Baked beans on toast, different, three different types of cheeses, gratinated, poached egg on top, a little bit of Liam parents. That's what I'm thinking. Um, some beans, which are really good, really going to fill you up. Um, vegetarian, vegan option as well. That could be lovely with some um, some red pepper through there, a little bit of the courgette, the ginger, a little bit of salt, pepper, olive oil, and make a kind of bean salad. I think that would be that would be good, and it would fill you up. Um, sweet corn, yeah, you could put that in with the bean. Rice staple. Um, you can boil it, you can make a salad, you can do a rice pilaf, all these different kind of things. Pasta! The king of student life. What can't you do with pasta? You can do anything. You can do pasta baked, you can do pasta in stews, you can do pasta with bolognese, you can do pasta on its own with olive oil, cheese, black pepper. Um, I'm sure some of your students have even got some truffles in your cupboard. Put some truffles in it. A chocolate pot. Mmm, lovely. Uh, some crisps just for a little aperitif before dinner. Ah, tomato. Now, this is a good one. Tomato sauce. That'd be really good with your pasta. So, you could cook that down with your onions, sweat your onions down, add a little bit of garlic, add a bit of chili, a bit of ginger, add your lovely uh, tomato on top, cook it down slowly, and then put that through the pasta as well. Well, if I'm honest, of all the cooking challenges I've done, I think this is right up there with the hardest. No, but in all seriousness, um, lots of bare essentials here. There's lots of great dishes you could do. So really use your imagination, okay? But I think what I'm going to do is I need something that's going to fill us up, something a bit hearty. Now, we're going to do something vegetarian, vegan. So we're going to do tofu and we're going to do uh, like a noodle broth. And we've got these stock cubes as well, vegetarian ones. Um, so we're going to do that, that, we've got ginger, chili, garlic, we're going to do that, we've got some onion, we've got courgette, we've got some pepper. So we're going to do like a broth and infuse it with the ginger and the chili um, and then we're going to add the noodles and bring it together for a nice hearty student meal. Right, my student friends, we are ready to get cooking. So we have onion, carrot, courgette, some of the peppers, ginger, chili, garlic some uh, noodles which would look lovely we've got some tofu mmm delicious uh, we've got some vegetable stock cubes and we've got some soy sauce we've got some young green jackfruit in brine never seen that before but very intrigued to see and we've got some sweet corn we are ready to start getting cooking over here I put my uh, water to boil I put 900 mils of water and now I'm going to infuse into the water two of the stock cubes. Okay, follow me. So the water is just coming up to a simmer. Now, in with the stock cubes. Mm. There we go. Right, okay, so we're going to let that infuse. Now, we're going to get to the chopping bit, okay? Now, Crack, crack, infuse into the stock. Okay, lovely. Now, we're also going to take a little bit of soy sauce. Okay, and this is light soy sauce, brings flavor to a dish. It's light soy sauce, which brings flavor to any dish. We're going to add a little bit to the stock, okay? Now we're going to do what we call the preparation, the mise en place. That's what we call mise en place in the uh, checkboard. 
Um, so what that means is we're going to cut all the vegetables and the ginger and the chilli and we'll cut it and we'll lay it out and we'll have everything ready before we start cooking because if we start doing that and then coming back we're going to get a mess and it's not going to be nice and we want to do something really good okay so we're going to do a bit of yellow pepper a little bit of whatever so for the recipe let's put half and half now don't throw that in the bin keep it you can put that through your bean salad your pasta salad whatever it is now i like to cut everything pretty much the same size okay put a little bit of carrot as well so peeled the carrot and then again we're going to cut it into little kind of like little little pieces so they kind of fit on the spoon so when you're eating it it all comes together nicely and obviously the more vegetables that we put in the, the better for you and the more flavoursome as well so one carrot let's put half an onion in there okay in your box you've got the white onion and the red onion personally I would use the white onion and I would keep the red onion for one of your salad dishes or pasta dishes okay now students I want you to try this at home I've cut the onion in half you see through the root and we're taking it and we've got the root here now very carefully we're going to go and cut but not all the way through we're going to go right to the edge like so and then with your knife carefully you go the other way like so and now because the root is attached we go down on the onion and we've got the perfect onion dice aha there we go you're going to take anything out of this isolation you're going to take some cooking skills yeah courgette now cut around the core of the courgette because we want the green of the skin which has got that lovely color which is going to go nicely in the broth right next we're going to do some ginger so carefully take off the skin of the ginger okay so i'm using we're going to use that off like so, and we're going to do some fine. We're going to do some fine strips, which we actually call julienne. So cut it thin that way, and then cut it the other way. Lovely, some chili. Okay, cut it in half. Okay, and take out the chilies. Take out the seeds, sorry. Okay. And then we're going to chop this up nice and fine as well. Depending on how you like it, how spicy you like it, obviously you put in the chili accordingly. Okay. We like it mediumly spicy, like so. Okay, so you can see our preparation is coming together now quite nicely. Using up all the store essentials as well. Um, so we've gone for the sweet corn and we've gone for the jackfruit and bread. Can't wait to taste that by the way. Now, so we're going to open these up. Quite something. Let's have a wee taste. Mm. Okay. Woo! Not bad. So we're going to cut the jackfruit into a dice as well. It's actually got quite a nice texture. Which is good, which is really important in cooking as well. It's that different textures and different flavour combinations. So we're going to put a little bit of the jackfruit. Again, don't throw the jackfruit what's left over, don't throw it away. You can use that up in a salad or, a, or another dish. Now we're going for the sweet corn, another store essential. My wife loves sweet corn. She doesn't like fresh sweet corn, 
She likes tin sweet corn. Now we've got the sweet corn. We'll put that to the side. Okay. And again, you can put that away in the fridge. But what I would recommend, don't put it in the tin, put it into a little bag, seal it nicely and put it in the fridge. Tofu. It's been a few years since I had tofu. I'm not going to use too much of the tofu. But we're going to, again, we're going to cut it into some dice. Like so, and what we're going to do with that, you can do many things. You can fry tofu, um, you can put it into soups, you can do whatever. We're actually just going to drop this in at the last minute in with the noodles, okay? So, nice, right. Okay, let's have a clean down and let's bring this dish together. Getting ready to cook now. We've got two pans. One, two. That was the one with the stock in it. And that's the one we infused the garlic in. So now we're going to take out the garlic, which is infused in flavor. Remember, we put the um, soy sauce in there as well. Now, cooking. Cooking without tasting is not cooking. So, taste. Mm. So, I'm just going to add a little touch of salt. Okay. And we're going to, and what we're going to do is, is we're going to cook our noodles in here. Now, you could use these noodles, you could use other noodles. Um, but I've gone for these ones, the worm ones. So, remember, the stock, simmering gently. And I've read the instructions. It says cook in the stock for three minutes. So, get your phones, put your timers on, or just guess. Are you going to cook the noodles for three minutes? So pop the noodles in the stock, like so, and cook and give it a little wiggle so that they break up, okay? We're going to cook that for three minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to start to saute the vegetables, okay? Some oil from the box. You want to get just add one little bit and you can hear it's, it's starting to cook. So we know we're ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to add the onion, the peppers, the carrot, all in the pan there, okay? And add a little touch of salt, like so. And I'm going to add the chili and the ginger now. Okay, look at those colors. We are cooking in isolation. Okay, so all that goodness there, full of goodness, full of color. You can see all the colors are cooking together. We can smell the ginger, we can smell the chili. Delicious, delicious. Now, we don't want to overcook these vegetables. We want a little bit of texture. We want them what we call al dente, but we still want to cook them enough so that we release the flavor, okay? Now, pop the lovely vegetables into the noodles. Now we're going to add the jackfruit, the corn, and the lovely tofu. Mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Look at that. Have a little taste. Not bad. And now we're going to serve. So be careful. We're going to add some of the noodles at the bottom. Woo! Some of the lovely some of the lovely tofu, we've got all the different vegetables, make sure you share it with your friends, equal, equal uh, quantities. I think we're asking for a little bit of uh, more soy sauce, which is going around the outside. This dish is crying out for some fresh coriander, if you have a coriander plant on the windowsill, this is the moment now to to add some coriander. So here we 
got it guys, we have my uh, Edinburgh Uni Isolation Box Essentials Meal. Uh, my noodles, my tofu, then the broth, ginger, uh, chili, garlic, vegetables, that kind of stuff. Um, remember, you can recreate this dish or you can recreate your own dish from the boxes. Now, I'm going to taste this masterpiece. And I tell you what, it looks alright actually. Spicy. It tastes good. Toffee. Mm. And uh, yeah, get cooking. Use your imagination. Thank you so much. Uh, stay safe, and we hope to see you soon. Bye.